Hello viewers. Welcome to the Managing Your Money Show. Our guest today is Ronald Way. His fabulously remodeled house was featured in Sunday's home section in the Capital Herald Tribune. He has kindly agreed to talk with us today about the financial aspects of this wonderful project. It is a pleasure to have you here, Ronald. The pleasure is all mine, Diane. And please call me Ron. Okay, Ron. Now, I understand that you recently retired. What did you do before? I was the state pension actuary. I did calculations about the amounts we owed, the required payments, and so on. Well, that's a subject for another day. Let's talk about your project. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so how much did it cost to do such a fabulous job? It wasn't cheap. I used the finest contractors, architects, carpenters, painters and so on. The total cost was almost exactly one million dollars. And how did you finance that? I was lucky enough to borrow the entire amount from a local bank. I took out a fixed rate mortgage. The bank charges me 4% interest and I have 30 years to pay it off. I make a fixed monthly payment each month for 30 years. That sounds like a great deal. Can you pay it off early? Absolutely. I can do so anytime I wish. And there is no prepayment penalty. So you could pay it off tomorrow for a million dollars? Yes I could, although I wouldn't do it. Understood. So you have a million dollar liability? I don't think of it that way. Why not? You borrowed a million dollars and you can pay back a million dollars tomorrow. Why don't you have a million dollar debt? Because I have a terrific mutual fund that invests in stocks, bonds, hedge strategies and other types of investments. I figure that it will return 8% in an average year. As an actuary, I can calculate the amount I would need to have in this fund to make all my mortgage payments for the next 30 years assuming that I make 8% each year. The answer is about $650,000. So I consider my liability to be $650,000. Looked at this way, the project was a great bargain. I must admit that this puzzles me. Did you also think about the state pension in this way? I sure did. And it made almost everyone concerned very happy. Very interesting. Do all pension actuaries think this way? Not all. But most of the actuaries who work for state pension funds do, and for years the Government Accounting Standards Board has said that this is the right way to calculate our liabilities. That is very interesting. And do actuaries who work for corporate pension funds do this too? Usually not. They have a different accounting standards board, all kinds of government regulations and so on. For my liability, they would probably use a number closer to a million dollars. And why do states do it differently? Because corporations come and go but we figure that states will be here forever. I certainly hope so. But I'm still not sure that I see the reason for states are for you to think this way. Even though your mutual fund might return 8% in an average year, it will earn less in some years and more in others. You can guarantee that if you put $650,000 in the fund today you'll have enough to make all your mortgage payments. Or am I missing something? No. But over the long run I expect to get a return of 8%. But that isn't guaranteed. It seems to me that there is a substantial chance that your mutual fund could run out of money before all the mortgage payments are made. And if that happens, who will pay the bills? Well, by the time that might happen, I'll be long gone. So if we get unlucky, I guess the kids will be left holding the bag. I guess so too. But let's move on. I presume that you have $650,000 in this mutual fund and according to your logic, your liability is fully funded. Well, not exactly. I only have about 500000 there at the moment. So I'm about 77% funded. I suspect some people would say that the debt is really only 50% funded. But let's not dwell on that. Let me ask you this. Do you plan to do any more remodeling? Absolutely. I'm working on plans to spend another million dollars. But of course it will only cost 650000 And I'm guessing that you have about 500000 for the project. Good guess. Well... I've got to say that I hope your kids are saving lots of money. Unfortunately, they aren't. At the moment they are having trouble finding jobs. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's hope things will get better somehow. 
Well, I see we are almost out of time. Let me thank our guest today, Ron Wei, for sharing his interesting ideas about financing. Please join us again next week on the Managing Your Money show. Our guest will be a financial economist who will bring us ideas from the dismal science. Until then, I wish you all a good day and good money management.